We tackle the topics America just ain't ready for. Too strong. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. You have tuned in to Too Strong, where Too Strong is always better than five. Always better than one. What's that, boss? It's better than five. Better than five. Better than five. Now you know what, man. We might be strong enough to be better than five. Let's just. I would say so. You would say so. Let's do it then. <laughs> Bam! Pow! Ladies and gentlemen, let me fix my camera. Let me see. There we go. Can you all <laughs> like? Share the videos, share the live stream. If you're doing it from a cell phone, I think that you can also do a watch party, which also helps a lot. Also, I know that a lot of people say that they don't get the uh, the notifications, and I do believe that. But sometimes it helps if you, what they call it, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channels or follow the Facebook pages and like them. And then you will also, and then if when you correspond, I, find, I learned this, when you comment on stuff or like a video, then the next time you are more likely to get the notification when we go live. So just keep that in mind and that may help out a bit. All right, Corey, yeah. all the way up or or keep it down, Corey. I need all the way up. All the way up, all right. Good. Yeah, cause you know, we don't want no, um, you know. Oh, that didn't look too half bad though. I, look, you know, I know, but I'm talking about the, you know, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to help you out here. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad though, for real though. So you don't be getting no emails and stuff. No, nah, I've never. I've never had it all the way up. <laughs> I always like to give a little chest, you know. A little. Oh, you got it with my chest. It. So you can say it with your whole chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you got to oh, say it with yeah. your whole chest. It looks like we got a good crowd today. They are ready to talk and that's what we want we want to hear from you all and so we can uh make this thing more engaged and i got this thing way back here like i got a six head i already got a five head i don't want to have a six head so hey <laughs> we can't, we can't, six head. yeah we can't we can't show off the whole ball here <laughs> <laughs> oh man thank you all for tuning in um <laughs> we're talking about the movie so man <laughs> drunk <laughs> No, man, we talking about the blackface, man. How do you feel about the blackface? I want to know before we get one. started. Huh, huh? I got one. Yeah, yeah, I got one. Is mine black? Let me see. Yeah, Jer it, it's Jerome? light black. It's light glass black, yeah. It's light glass black. Jerome, man, tell us, how do you feel? How do you feel? What are your thoughts on the blackface? I think I know what you're going to say, but I'm not going to spill it. Tell us in the comment section, what do you feel about the blackface? And before we get started, let's do this. Let's take a little, a little poll. Do... You all think that the blackface when somebody, okay, like, for instance, we got, who was that? Logan Paul up there. Lo, I don't know if y'all know. Who, did you know who that was, Marlon? Mm hmm Yeah, Logan. Is that Logan? or Yeah, Logan. That's Logan. So um, now, now, now my son got more of a reason to try to uh, still, you know, try to get the boxing match with one of them. Um, so what do you feel about Logan Paul or um, what's the dude, the Trudeau? What do you feel about Trudeau, these guys? Jimmy Kimball. Yeah, doing the black face, uh, making the black face and and making fun of it and all that. What are your thoughts about that? Um, yes, black is beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, yes, uh, everybody. Un until beautiful. until it, it until. it's when you're walking outside in the dark and you step in a hole, then black is no longer beautiful. You want something, <laughs> you want something a little lighter. <laughs> Do you walk outside, step in a hole. <laughs> That's right. Then it's. Oh man. All right. Uh typical hi hypocritical behavior. Uh, you all don't know color. You both have a beautiful brown color. Merlin and Corey. Yeah, I'm more like a, a light tan. He's a yeah. light sienna. Light sienna. <laughs> hey Lori, how you doing today? Pl uh plum damn ugly. <laughs> That'd be me. I'll take it. I'll take that one. <laughs> 
I don't know. Plums are pretty nice, though. I mean, yeah, they are pretty good. Plums, you know? Yeah, plum ugly. Black is beautiful unless you uh, joy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she did blackface too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so black. So so th- this is this is what I discovered already. Right, I can already see this. That some people think that this is an uncomfortable topic. Yeah. Uh, so it's like you're kind of being careful about what you say, and that's cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. come on out and just say it. You know, we like to talk here. Like we we like to have open, honest dialogue. Whether you agree or disagree, it's all good. Uh, yes, the YouTube is running tonight. Um, Corey. So, what's going to say, Mara? Say it with your chest. Old chest, and you, you know, and your, and your black face. Um, so, this is what we're going to do. Let's get right in. What do you, what do you want to go with it, Mara? You want me to give my thoughts on it first? Yeah, give you your thoughts it? first, and maybe that'll give Jerome time to give his two cents. You know what I'm saying? No, he got a whole dime, man. Okay, well, give it five you bucks. Be, give me you five bucks. My guy for two cents. At least give him a nickel. Yeah, five bucks. Five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> when this topic first came up, um, Merlin actually challenged me. He asked me, you know, what do you think, man? You know, what's your, what's your thoughts? And my answer to him was, well, I don't think enough about it to have a strong opinion on it because I just, I don't know, uh, especially the new me that I've become. Things just don't um, bother me like that. So it's like, I didn't really haven't really thought about it. Even even in my lost days, I just didn't I guess didn't really put too much thought into it. So today I took some time. I took some time to myself and I really thought about uh, how I felt about it. And and I'm still kind of scattered on it. And here's why. I think that ultimately, um, if somebody do that, that's really I mean, it's on them. It don't affect me because it don't affect how I live. It don't affect how I eat, how I sleep, how I love. It don't affect any of those things in my life. But the thing is, um, that does not make it right or wrong because of my thoughts. So as it comes to right or wrong, I always go back to the same thing. And that's the one of the coldest words that 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 I, I believe I say one of, I got to make sure because people will twist you. You said it was the coldest word ever. What about love? You know, I said one of the coldest words ever is why is why, because in my mind, a lot of things that you do and, and was it right? Was it wrong? Was it just, was it unjust? It comes down to why. And that's almost with any situation. So when I look at these people, and that's doing it that in, in particular that we're talking about. I put some thought into it uh, as to why did they do it, <laughs> you know? And I think that um, uh, let's let's stick to uh, what's his name? Trudeau. Mm-hmm. I think that he was being um, disrespectful. I think he was doing it to be disrespectful and to show that he can do it because he 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 went he went with the whole banana <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't know you gotta show it man they're not gonna believe you uh, um she said we we'll say i like both personalities on this page however hold on what do you say I, I like both personalities on this page however i kind of feel like there are too much filler conversation and not enough content on the subject at hand okay that's Ooh. how you feel. <laughs> you got, <laughs> hey, hey, Mark, look, man, you got a right to feel that way. <laughs> and if we can't make everybody happy, that's fine. We got to do what we got to do, brother. So, um, yeah, but anyway, hope you enjoy what you enjoy. You know what I'm saying? But you it's don't what get... we call lead up. There's a yeah, well, I don't, I don't, it's what you to me is what you call. I wouldn't even explain it because oh, no, I like, I like because you never know how, how slow they might be. I, I want to make sure that my entire audience is, you know, caught up. I don't. I don't want to leave a a lagging one behind. You know, a stray sheep, lame Good luck. sheep. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck trying to please me. So, I guess. I guess now you you can get a better understanding of how my attitude, how it is. Like certain things, is like okay, I'm moving on. Just don't. <laughs> yeah, if you don't get it. I told hey, you. You just got a. You just got a prime case study presentation. So I'm like here. This is what he means. Kabow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, moving on. <laughs> so it, it it comes down it comes down to why, right? Mm-hmm. And why why drive this boat, man? And 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 I believe that that the Trudeau guy was was being funny, sarcastic, and showing that he can do it and get away with it. 
I also believe that uh, what's the other guy name? What's his name again? The the Which one, one with there's so many Howard Stern. Yeah, Howard Stern. Now, yeah. to me, he's straight up racist. Yeah, that's 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 what I call a racist. Um, I call him that. That's a racist. Um, this um this Logan Paul guy. I just think that he just was being and smart, being funny. Um, you know that, that's I don't I don't really I don't really see a whole lot there that I can see, but I guess I don't really care enough to to dig that far into it. But ultimately, I think that it depends on why you did it, and it also and I also want to say this that people doing that kind of stuff should not affect you. If you black, it shouldn't really affect you like that. If, and if it do, then you care too much about the wrong things. That's my opinion. <clears throat> well, let me add some more filler. Um, <clears throat> what, uh, what I think <laughs> some more, what <laughs> some more filler. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm coming, I'm going to be approaching this from the historical standpoint to help people understand what the whole start why it continued why it even began so um i don't know if you want to do that first or if you want to get into the presentation of the things and then we can see i think if we show some i think the history of it will make a little more sense to you well, That's I mean, I think, thought. yeah, I mean, it's, 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 I mean, you can do that, but, but what, what is your, what is your, your thoughts on it before you get into the history? Um, blacks and whites did it both to make money. Ironically, this was back in the 1800s, mind you, that it began. We're talking 1820, 1830, that it really began and took off. Okay. So I want people to understand that this is not a new, new thing. So 1830 started as part of the, uh, the Broadway show kind of things. And you have these shows that you go to and the tents and the Barnum and Bailey type I, I, you know, atmosphere. Um, and it really kind of hit its height around the 1840s. And then it crashed kind of around the end of the Civil War. So around 1868, 1869 is when it started to get, you know, it went away. But not really, because it continued. And you'd never guess where most of the artists resided that did blackface. If you thought it ended in the Civil War, where would you think that it would continue? These minstrel strolls would continue. Where do you think they'd have the their majority of their activity if, if you were a betting man? you talking to me? I don't yeah. know. I yeah. don't know. The, the, the North. Yeah. See, the, again, the North, I don't, I haven't, I don't think enough about it to think. Well, like, I, I it's don't, a question like if yeah. you know the Civil War and the war happened to end slavery right. and it said that the North fought the South, why mm. would you think that, oh, the, the South would have all the racist stuff going on? I, I, I ironically, it didn't. All of the actors in the thing lived up North. Um, the whites left the arena at that time and black people start doing blackface. Now, I want you to understand black people start doing blackface to take over the roles that white people were doing because white people were doing black black face. So black people weren't even aware that they had a black face apparently. So they had to put an extra <laughs> layer of black face on them to look like white people pretending to be black people. They made money that way. What started to happen was at that time, there were only a certain amount of them that were making it ends meet. And so that what they started doing was changing laws so that the black people that were doing minstrel shows because it was such a popular thing had actually more regulations lifted from them to go more places that normal blacks wouldn't go. Like there were black people who did blackface that could hang out in white clubs because they did blackface. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so you saw this <laughs> dynamic switch. And then when it finally dissipated and realized that it wasn't going anywhere anymore, it became this cultural thing that if you did that, it was heralding back to when blacks couldn't do it. But no one ever talked about the fact that blacks took over for a pretty good period of time, about eight years in there, and no one talks about that. But now it's become culturally bad to do it if you're white, not realizing that whites quit that, blacks took over and made money from it. Um, I don't see, and, and knowing that history, I don't see why anybody should be offended because it was pretty much a clown show. That's It's like, if Bozo handed his 
costume over to a black guy. And then it was a black bozo. And then that bozo decided he was quitting. And every time you see a bozo costume, now I think, oh, racist. That's that's how dumb it, it is to me. And so, you know. You don't think but, that some people do it to mock black people? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, they do. Sure. Sure. But uh, what, what I find is that a lot of the ones that do it to mock black people are also the ones when they're not wearing the black face, say, don't do that. You're mocking black people. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> So, so let me ask you. So, what what are your thoughts on the ones that's doing it to mock black people? Do you understand why people get upset about that? Yeah, I yeah. can I can see why people get upset about it. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Not yeah. me, but yeah. people. I, I, yeah. I clearly understand yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I just don't because I don't. Um, I, it it don't it don't make me mad, but I also recognize that they're being uh, disrespectful. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And, and they and they showing that they racist. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But but um, the reason why disrespectful racist don't bother me because i don't have to deal with them that way you know what i'm saying i'm in my own home i'm doing my own thing i know what they are i don't have to think about it but i do understand why it is deemed offensive you know what i'm saying i really do i really do um that's true they mainly they mainly focus on comedy from what i have been told yeah but it's okay so a lot of, okay so he, here's the deal time this is what i got to say about that <clears throat> it is comedy but when it's comedy at the expense of you making fun of black people, then is that drawing the line? Is that stepping yeah. over the line? You know what I'm saying? And yes, black people do it too. And I agree on the other side of the fence, black people get away with it more than white people. Um, because I mean, you, you take all the comedians, almost every comedian I can think of that's really good. They make a living off of laughing at white people. You know what I'm saying? And, and by, and it make a living off of make, joking about black people too. But it's like, when, at what point do we consider it stepping over the line? Truth of time. Then we got Keith Guiden. So essentially, the black people doing blackface was hustling the audience. So essentially, the black people doing blackface was hustling the audience where they seen the opening. Good point. Kind of. Kind of. But here's the thing. They took a risk. Okay? Now, you have to understand, this was a predominantly white thing that when in, initially, it was made to make fun of the very weakness of of at the time how they thought of black people mm -hmm. the minstrel himself performed as though he was lazy good for nothing shiftless always dancing all the time happy-go-lucky kind of thing that was how the white people performed the minstrel um when a black person decides to take that up he's taking a risk here because what he ends up doing is doing one of two things putting himself in the public light pretending to be a white man pretending to be a black man which could also be seen as you think he's as good as a white man pretending to be a black guy. And so now he's taking a risk with his life, but he's also taking a risk with the fellow black people might, might think, why would you put yourself in that position? So while it might've been an opening of sorts and they made money, it was a huge risk for them to take. The ones that started were part of, of circuses. Like one of them was um, part of the circus where he was a midget. So he he played on the fact that people already knew he had some sort of a, a niche and people say, oh, yeah, it's a midget. And then he put on makeup and it became a midget clown. But he didn't. He could sell that. But the other one that did it, he took a bigger risk and it paid off. But not many were able to pull it off. And some that saw it, they thought it was too big of a risk. So, yeah, they might have seen it as an opening, but not very many of them took not very many of them did it with this like yeah it's an opening they they took a they took a pretty massive risk doing what they were doing but i want it, it it depends and i don't know it depends i suspect but i don't know let me say that <clears throat> it depends on the mindset of black people back then so for instance uh right now just just us doing what we're doing right now like us saying right now we like, black facing right now that, yeah that we not that get, it, it, the shit don't make me mad like that it don't make me want to go fight or no shit like that it don't it don't affect me that way because of that, right now, I'm a coon because I should be mad and I should be um, pissed off at white people and I should hate white people for doing it and all of the above. And since I don't, then I'm considered a coon. Mm -hmm. So so we taking a risk <laughs> by, by sitting here saying yep. it don't bother us. So I, and, and we get that and we understand that because we understand the current mindset of most black people. And I say it most literally. I mean, I mean what I said and I said what I mean. So, but was that the mindset back then that these people were being called like coons and sellouts 
for doing that or were they considered like this man is going out to work there's a, a opportunity or opening for him to make some money to take back home to his family and we respect that because he planned his part and doing what he need to do to feed his family I uh, not many of them no not very many and it, it is historical that not many of them are viewed like that um the historical context is that they were not viewed as someone who was like trying to make it forward they were they were viewed like us they were oh, selling really? out what people what what we went through and you let white people that's how they view us and you take up that you know that's the direction you choose that's how they literally were seen so a lot of them were ostracized which is why some of them mm. lived and stayed with the circus they mm. didn't bother so they moving didn't have to deal with it, yeah yeah they stayed with where they were comfortable and they wouldn't have to deal with the backlash from either way the circus accepted them because they were oddballs anyway and they could go and do the performances in places that would accept them wow you know wow and so that today is... so today when you see that happening I can understand if now there's a very big caveat here. Ignorant people that don't know this history are only offended because it's a white person with black face that's trying to look black. They have no concept and they don't care what the purpose or the why is. They don't care about that, nor do they know the history. You mean they're you going based on right now today? Yeah, they're going based on an emotional charge of, oh, you can't do this it, racist. I believe, I believe that that's, uh, th thanks for putting that link in there, Lori. Uh, I, I believe that to an extent, but I think it's, I think the, um, I think people understand that, that, that some people that's doing it are doing it to be, uh, okay. disrespectful. Mm -hmm. I, I really do. I, I don't, I don't, and see that the thing is, and you know, you know me now, you are a big, uh, I, I tell everybody to say this joker, no, his history <laughs> you know what i'm saying and that's good but i think that to me i i i'm interested in the history and, and when you broke it down to me is i learned i learned something from that and i, and I got from and it's, it was very interesting to me but when it comes to me deciding if this is right wrong disrespectful or not racist or non-racist or whatever the history of it has about this much to do with it because i always resort back to the why? why like yeah. why right now you know what i'm saying uh back then why they did it could be a different completely different story but what matters right now is is why they um why they doing it today and that i question i'm gonna be honest i, I question that like when the one guy can, can you pull up the commercial merlin that we did yeah hang on hey nikki didn't uh <clears throat> not yeah because the, the commercial like if you if you look at him um and, and you know I mean, he was being extremely disrespectful. In fact, um, he he used the N-word multiple times. And like, I mean, that was just straight racism. So when it comes to people like that doing it, I under not that I agree, because I don't do the anger thing. I understand why people are upset about that. Yeah. And, and I want people to understand that just because I understand something or I get it don't mean that I agree with it. I'm just saying that I understand and i know where it's coming from yeah. uh jerome it's like using the n-word is wrong both ways nowadays they got some sitcoms specifically making fun of white people and there is no outcry for white people but when it's reversed it's racist absolutely i've been you know what man i've been saying that since high school that always and people jumped on my trail for saying that it's like why is it that we black people can talk like 40 going off about white people and everybody he he ha ha and laugh and it's all funny even the white people no mainly the white people but when a white comedian do it against us you know we and but now we starting to kind of be like uh all right but it's getting a little easier but i understand i get it um <clears throat> yeah yeah play, play it yeah play it blackface black Face. You ever take the time to figure out where this thing started? Oh, hush up. I hate blackface. I just can't get this shit off. I think with the amount of airtime it's getting, we should take a deep dive into the history into the of blackface. History of blackface. Secondly, what does it really mean to black people? To black people and what does it mean to white people? To white people? Where's the disconnect between the two? Where is this? going where is please feel free to join us yeah so he had the whole banana jumping off you know what i'm saying he tried <laughs> 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 no 
listen, I didn't plan on telling y'all this, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but even, even though he was being racist, it's funny. I believe it was funny. I mean, <laughs> hold on. Uh, yeah, we're gonna wait to take calls. Uh, it's funny that he would go that far with it. Yeah. That, I think. I think. Look, he didn't just blackface. He put his arms. He went to his hands. His legs that was in a torn up pant and the banana. Like he went. <clears throat> he went in. So oh, go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. ahead. I was just clearing my throat. No, I, I was I was uh elaborating off the off the comment that uh if it's in a word uh said. So this is what I want to say about that. Um yeah, black people is is they black people get away with it, but just because black people get away with it too, it does not, it still don't make it right. Um, but it don't make me mad, man. I, I can't, I don't know, man. It just, it just, I can't explain it, man. I'm just not, I don't, I don't care like that. Like it don't, it don't make me mad or make me hate nobody or nothing. It's just, they just ignorant. They did it. And that's it. I, and, and, and go ahead. Until you have, until you have Howard Stern. Well, you know, I mean, he, he went, he went far, but it's, he still don't, it don't, it don't make me, man. I don't know, dude. But 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 again, I understand. Like like I was telling you before, it's like certain groups. Okay, so okay, that, that's what that's what I meant to say about what Jerome said. I'm glad he said that because it makes me think about something. Dang, where it go? Disappeared. Oh, there it is. Okay, there is no outcry from white people, but when it's reversed, it's racist. So one thing is we know that the reason why uh, when black people do it is because we cry about everything. We complain about everything, and enough is never enough for black. It's just never enough. You know what I'm saying? You know the, you know the term. Give a, a inch, and it'll take a mile. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's true. Um, and, and, you know, like right now with the government, if, if Trump was in office, you could say, well, he don't do enough for black people. He could say, okay, I'm going to release uh, half the inmates or all the nonviolent Prisoners, I'm gonna release them since they're nonviolent, and I'm gonna give every black family a hundred thousand dollars. And then we'll turn around and say, Man, man, a hundred thousand dollars. What the hell are we supposed to do with a hundred thousand dollars? <laughs> or, the, or, or the proverbial, you only doing that because you don't want to yeah. look racist. <laughs> you just, you just I mean, man, you listen, man, let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm a coon right now. That's what they call me. <laughs> you can't make black folks happy for nothing, man. I'll tell you, man. It's crazy. It is crazy to be. Look, look, how about looking at blackface this way? Today, looking at it like this today. Okay. Why not look at it as they they want to be black so bad that they put blackface on, like it's a like it's a compliment? Because ain't nothing good enough for us. Like, it's come on, nothing, like they, they they even they even they even want to look black. I mean, everything they is- tan. White people tan. That's a problem. You're trying to look black. Why is that a problem if they want to? Okay, uh, okay, I'm going to analyze it. This this has been bugging me for years. Okay, and now I get to vent. Oh, get, go ahead, vent. Let me. All be right. Clear. Okay, this is what it, and it kind of pisses me off a little bit. But it, for now, it's a little bit of a vent. If you are saying that these people are actually racist. I have ne- and I have met I've met one a uh-huh. true KKK member. They will not even watch black TV. They will not have black friends. They don't want anything to do. They don't want to look black. They don't want anything to do with the black race. Right. If people are genuinely racist, there is no way zero way today that they would put that on. It wouldn't happen. I'm telling you right now, it ain't going. They're not going to try and act black for you. Ironically, the people that performed a lot of these things in the, back in the day, even back in the day, the white people that performed it weren't the racist ones. They were performing for the racists. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The racist ones were in the audience, not on stage. Oh, man. The ones on stage were the performers, right? Oh, man. They weren't the ones that were genuinely racist because. They were working okay, so, so what you're saying is you got your racist and then you got your super racist. You got your like, just like you got your coon and your super coon. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> like By it don't way, make yeah. sense. I'm sorry, but it don't By make the, sense. By the way, y'all, Marlon Marlon earned his uh, super coon wings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so look. Okay, so it, oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Jerome being childish. He gonna say a true racist hate the black keys on the piano. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even play it. Well, look though. No. Well, let me ask you this. Let me let me put a twist on it. 
do you can you relate to or understand or disagree just whatever thoughts you come up with my thing is i'm a firm believer in uh i should like okay so you got these groups right you got mm-hmm. groups of people whether they're small groups or large groups so so let's just use a small group like my family right so um I'm going to use the same example I've been used. Like, okay, so just say that 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 me and my wife is about to go out to eat and, and um, you know, me and a friend sitting here and whatever, they might be getting ready to go with us or whatever the case is, right? Mm-hmm. And she come out the room looking good as ever. What she be doing, you know what I'm saying? You know, looking good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like that. So she come out and I say to her, I say, damn, baby, you sexy as hell, right? And... And that's okay for me to say. And she might say, you know, you probably could have left the hell part out, baby. But yeah, I know I'm sexy. You know, say whatever. But if my friend say it the way I said it, it's disrespectful. Yeah. I was like, so it's sometimes within your group. So now let's let's use it as a bigger group. So black people say it to each other. And I agree that <clears throat> that we need to stop saying that, right? Mm-hmm. We need to start saying it. And we just need to stop saying it. It's it's a lot of different reasons why we need to. I was finna get off in that, but that's not necessary. We just need to, we just need to get away from saying it. Which listen, I'm gonna keep it 100. I still say it every now and then. I do. You know what I'm saying? I, I do. But the thing is, when you when you say it, is meant as a a term of endearment, just like the word dog. You know, black people we call each other dogs. What up, dog? What up, man? How you feeling, doggy? That's my dog. This is what we say, and we don't mean it as in like it's a bad word. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now, if a if a uh, if a white person say, "What up, my?" You know, it's like you be looking like, "Why he say that?" Because you because you begin to question why he said it. The same way you were questioning the the guy for saying that your wife is sexy. I mean, what were you, what was your point? Did you really mean, now I got a good friend and, and one day I told, I told him, I said, I said, man, your wife ain't looking, looking real good today, man. You know, compliment him, but I'm not finna walk up to her. Oh damn, baby, you sexy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's wrong. All and of I a mean, sudden you're like, where am I? Like what? You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> out cold. So, do, so, so can you relate to that or what's your, what is your thoughts on that? You might have a different, a different way of saying that. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, in some ways. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I guess I look at, okay, so you and your friend have an, have an established relationship, right? Right. <clears throat> and you have, uh, he, he knows that certain things will upset you. But that probably won't happen. If, if, if you tell me like now a stranger did that, then we can see some problems, you know? But a, a friend doing that, It'd be hard pressed for me to believe that him knowing that you're married would do that to his friend. Okay. Okay. So if you want to equate it to a stranger walking up, having having heard you say it, decide, well, I kind of agree with him. She does look kind of hot. I'm going to walk up. I'm going to do the same thing. Now, therein lies a problem because you don't know me. I don't know you. I never gave you permission to do that. We don't know each other like that. Mm -hmm. I could see a problem. Okay. And okay, so you know what? That's that's crazy. This is this is good because I'm the exact opposite. I would rather, I could accept, I ain't gonna say rather, I could accept it better. I can accept that better from a stranger. Because um, they don't know better. Well, even if they do know better, they're not my friend. Um, you know, they might feel like they don't owe me no respect. And on top of that, this is not somebody that I that I intend on having around me more. And then you, know, so, you don't value them. Yeah, I don't value. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Thank you, brother. I don't okay. value them. I don't value them like that. But my friend, I value. And if my friend do it, all of a sudden I'm thinking like, dang. Now, like I, now yeah, I can't. I don't even know if I want this dude around me no more yeah. because he. We we call them where I'm from. We call them line habitual line crossers. Well, you got your line crossers, and then you got your habitual line crossers. A line crosser is you might mess around and and cross the line and uh one day. And then, you know, you realize, oh, man, I should have did that. You know, I crossed the line. I believe everybody, all of us have at some point in our lives crossed the line. Okay. But then you got your habitual line crosses, people that cross the line. And they just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. So anytime somebody crossed the line to that degree, 
and he's my friend, I'm always worried about, man, is he going to continue to cross the line and be a habit habitual cr line crosser? And so I deem it as a much bigger respect as it because it came from a friend. I mean, listen, man, I'm going to tell you something. True story. We was in Annapolis one time. Just when my, when my uh, me and my wife was probably two or three years in our marriage. We're driving down the street, got the window down. And uh, <clears throat> these guys pulled up on the car and pulled on the side of the car and looked and they was like staring at her. Now we laughing, right? They were staring at her. And then when he seen me, you know, when he put up enough where he seen me, oh, 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 my fault, my fault. He said, man, but listen, man, she's so pretty, man. I had to, I had to pull up and look at her. I said, all right, I'll, you know, cool. Now, I would, I didn't take that personal. I don't know this guy. He going about his business. I'm going about my business. That's it. It's over. Like, whatever. And all he said was she was cute. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if my friends say that, it depends on how he said it. That, that might make me kind of like what you what you getting at. You know what I'm saying? Would so, it matter if a stranger said it funky? If, what you mean? Like, you know, you can sense when somebody means it some, something really bad. Oh like no! If oh, someone walks up to your wife and and like, damn, and, you sexy than mother. No, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't now. Okay, so okay, so it depends on what you're asking me. Right now, today, no. If he if he going about his business, I don't care. I really don't. Um, because I don't deem him as a threat. Now, if I deem him as a threat, then that's a different story. You understand what I'm saying? And we're gonna throw hands as he's saying it, right? No, uh, -uh. or he will lay a man low. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He just doesn't want to say it, so I'll say it for him in a very. No, but as, as long as as long as and and this is how this is what this is how I, I how I do it now, as long as you're not a threat. Mm -hmm. Sit. So now my brain is going in a different direction. Okay, so we have blackface, mm -hmm. and in I think I put this uh, this this thought process to you before. The way I see things is like if you have a problem with a word. Or a problem with an action. My theory is that if you have a really big moral base for that problem, you yourself should never be caught partaking in that moral dilemma. So, for instance, if I say the N word is bad mm -hmm. and it's bad, bad, I myself should not be willing to participate in this so called bad act. But you see it over and over where people say, oh, that's bad. But when somebody they like do it, all of a sudden their moral compass goes out of the way and they can accept it until somebody they don't know, then the moral compass comes back all of a sudden and they're, they allow things. That for me seems like a, a very big point of contention in terms of hypocrisy for me. And I do understand yeah. your point of view with the friend and, you know, saying, but... Okay, say for instance, one day you come to the show mm -hmm. and you got on makeup and lipstick mm -hmm. and you're talking and you come flapping your hands I'm around. Flapping my hands around? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, okay, what, what, what's up with that? And you're like, what? Nothing. Just, you know, I'm just dressed. But then you turn around in the show to condemn that exact behavior. I will never be able to take you seriously or take that point of view <laughs> as coming from you as something that you really genuinely believe because of how you approach your own life with it. Well, that's that's but that's that's completely different than than the example I gave with the wife. Because I know that's why I said my brain went right. off to a different tangent. Oh, right, 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 right. right. I wasn't comparing the two of right and wrong of yours or mm -hmm. mine. Right, I'm right, saying right. a different point of view of it. Oh, no, right? that, 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 from it. that view, you are a thousand, yeah. not even a hundred, a thousand percent correct. I mean, how could you do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. So I guess I guess it all comes down to, um, um, like you said, like, why you why you doing it and what you thinking? But I, I guess the, the whole point of it all is that is that um, like black people, why are we mad about it? Like it don't. I, OK. So when I say mad, you know what I'm saying? That's a whole different level, right? <laughs> it's got but, tangents to it, yeah. But but am I going to uh leave you right. in a house with my kids or or trust you? No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because I think that you are um a racist, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But yeah. but as far as um them making me mad, no. No, I don't I don't see it. Yeah, and it, the thing is, the thing is this when I when I look at look at blackface. Um, the people that are, if you look at the kinds of people that are getting in trouble right now, mm -hmm. 
promoted themselves as advocates or social justice people, or you can't be doing that. You, you have to stop. And they, but they do it. I want people to understand this. They do it out of a current time urgency, not a true belief because there were still the ones that did it back then and thought it was funny. Uh-huh. Now they said, well, and if you watch, it's always a historical thing. They bring up like, but you did that back then. Yeah, but you know, I'm, I'm sorry. I did that. I'm not that way now, you know, cause right now it's wrong. I can't genuinely believe that of you because now are you saying it to keep your job or, or are you saying it because you genuinely believe it? Like I watched how Trudeau apologized for the so-called blackface. He was not apologizing for being caught in blackface. No, he was apologizing because he was like, damn, that picture came back. Like, oh, oh man, okay. that's crazy. I I, 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 I should have known it was wrong. But, but then and, like, yeah, but oh well, so what? Yeah, but hey, yeah. you know. I, I should have no, known it was said, wrong. But, no, he, uh, said, I he said, he I, said, I knew it was wrong. What did he say? But I shouldn't have did, but I did. Something like that. <laughs> that. Like that. But it's it's now, but that was back then. He still is not sorry about doing it. He's sorry that the picture came forward. Yeah, yeah. That's so I can't believe in all honesty that you don't think what you're thinking. I'm sorry, but you're lying. It, that's that is what it comes down to. You are lying. Yeah. And if you had the chance, you'd do it again. <laughs> so I have me, to believe you're racist. So so let me ask you. Oh, you already answered my question. Oh, thank thank you, Lou. Thank Why, you. So man? Let me let me ask the question sometimes. Hold on. I, I'm just I'm just saying thank you. Thank you, Lou. Thank you. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> why why won't you let me ask the question man go ahead ask the question go ahead go all ahead. right all right let's act like you didn't answer already okay so so do you think he racist for doing it do you think i mean do you think he did it because he's racist or what What do you think his reason was well i don't know i mean i know he couldn't he shouldn't have done it but he did it so <laughs> I, <laughs> you better grow up dude i think i think he did it but he didn't want to do it but he did it because well, he, he had to do anyway. it he did it because he did what he did, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, because he do, you it. know. Marlon, yeah. Marlon got a good point. Dave should play, play the uh, blind clan member, uh, making fun of white people. Uh, Gary, the comedian, makes jokes about black people all the time, and both are accepted. Yeah, um, is, is that the white dude, Gary? That be man. Listen, I've been listening to that cat. Uh, that dude is funny. He, he hilarious. Is he the one with the black wife? Yeah, he funny. He is. Listen, funny. man. Let me tell you something. <laughs> dude, be having me. Crying. It's I'm, factual I'm, stuff. <laughs> he ain't lying when he say what he say, though. I'm not oh. saying he. No. <laughs> but see what I'm saying. <laughs> but I can't listen to that cat with a lot of a lot of people around. They're gonna get mad at me, man. Yeah. <laughs> but he funny. He's funny, man. Um, actually, to me, is he funnier than Dave Chappelle? Let me see. Mm-mm. Nope. I'll tell you why Dave Chappelle. I tell you why Dave Chappelle will always win the the battle of hilarity. Why? Because he don't have a filter for nobody. No, he don't. He don't he, care what spectrum mm. you on. Man, he I don't does think, not care. Man, but get man that dude. Man, he is funny. Man, uh, when he be talking about how she how she beat him up and stuff, yeah. <laughs> and the ashy how she was ashy. <laughs> but you know, listen. It, it all, but I believe, but see, here, here's the difference that I believe that, okay, let me put it to you this way. Here got a perfect example. If you presented me with some uh, concert tickets to, or some t- show tickets to go see this white dude, whatever, I, I forget his name. I just know, I realize who you're talking about. I go, I would go and I would actually enjoy myself um, because I just don't feel like he mean no harm. I think, I honestly think he's sincerely just being funny by telling true stories uh, and adding, you know, adding this uh, comedy twist to it. And I don't have a problem with that. Um, uh, back in the day, I might have, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I can't say, you know what I'm saying? Because he's pretty funny. But I don't, I would not go to a concert where you got a bunch of white dudes or a white dude on stage dancing with blackface because I feel like there's too much of a chance that He's intentionally being disrespectful. If I knew the guy and knew what he was doing and knew why, I could probably do it. You know what I'm saying? If I was interested. So I guess, I, again, my thing always, my theory always goes back to why. You know what I'm would, saying? Would you go if it was a white and a black guy doing blackface? It depends on why they was doing it. 
because it's funny. I, I probably, yeah, I, I probably, I, uh, oh, just simply because it was funny. Mm-hmm. I might, yeah. yeah but it ain't funny, funny, really. It's not really funny. I mean, I mean, if but see the thing. That's why I said I might, but I don't. I don't think it's funny. Mm-hmm. I mean, not because it's just the blackface. I just don't think it's. I funny. mean, Trudeau was funny. I'm- well. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a weird instance because I think he really was doing it because he was racist. But it was funny. But it was funny. Well, you know what made that per- you, okay? But did you notice though? Oh, well, I, I'm gonna tell you this. I didn't laugh until it was after you said what you said. He said, "Oh, sh- hush up." You know, I think that's what made it funny because it's like he was telling you to hush up. I mean, that's what it looked like in the video. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying he telling you to hush up. Uh, he don't like this shit. You know, he just can't get it off. <laughs> you know, and, but, and I found like, myself when- laughing. Huh? When, when Trudeau was literally, but Trudeau was doing it, dancing with the banana thing. That I know for a fact that too was racist. Oh, oh no! When, when Trudeau did it with the banana. Yeah. Oh okay, yeah. So, yeah, but 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 why? You said it earlier. Why was it funny though? It was funny because you was like, I can't believe he went that far. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, yeah. and that was an instant where you know it was racist, but you right. also know it was funny. But it's still funny. So regardless yeah. of why it was funny, it was funny. Right. But the yeah. Howard Stern one wasn't even funny. Like it wasn't even funny when he started to talk. Like he, it, it the, the blackface looked stupid. He was stupid doing it. He went all out with the words he used. He just looked dumb doing yeah. it, and he sounded dumb and he sounded racist. It wasn't right. even a comedy yeah. sketch after that point. So now you, like, so, so now you, now you forcing me to tell the truth. Tell the truth because you made me feel bad. Yeah, truth. So it, street. it was not funny. It was stupid. Yeah. And it, so I'm over here feeling like, rah, 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 rah. okay. <laughs> I was editing the video mm-hmm. after a nice bowl of soup. And he said that, and I laughed for about 10 minutes, okay? Is that better? Yeah. Is, is, that, a, is, the, is that an excuse? Is that a good excuse? And a good excuse? That, that would mean that you don't think Howard Stern's racist. <laughs> or you are racist, too, and you like racist. No, it, it, means, it means that I didn't think he was racist while I had my soup. No, you can't. You can't go in and out of racism, man. That's you, do it. you just is it don't, you like, right? it don't work like that. Mm-mm. So I can't change my mind. Look, you ain't Joe Biden, okay? Only Joe Biden's allowed. To... <laughs> <laughs> Only Joe Biden can go in and out of racism, and people accept it. Stop your nonsense, okay? Oh my God, man. Yeah, but it's it's but okay. But so what would you? Because I know you got good good uh, intellect on on a lot of stuff, man. You the man, bro. What would you say? To, to black people seriously what would you say to black people about it and and what they what their thoughts should be on it as far as getting angry or feeling disrespected i mean what would you say i mean what would you say okay so all right here it is let's just say that that um i was in a stage of waking up and coming to god and and i came to you on a serious and i say man you know what i'm saying what like you see this shit man what this is crazy like what would you say to me if you was my and, and you mentoring me Okay, I would say get get your consistency right. Get make sure you're a consistent person with what you're talking about. First of all, if you consider something racist, and you have a thought process of what racism is, be consistent with that theory, and don't flip flip and flop because of what is convenient for you at the time. Because here's a problem, and we we encounter this all the time. And you since you brought the the avenue of finding God kind of thing. He he's not flip floppity. Okay. So if there's a line which is not part and I keep saying if it's the, the, the there's a right and wrong and it's not part of you, it's outside. You have to hold on to that. It's not like you can move it wherever you want to move it when it's time to move it. If I if you can keep consistent with what you believe, I can easier believe you when you say that something offends or doesn't offend you. Mm-hmm. But if you keep changing every crowd you move to because it's a different vi- I can't trust that you really believe something is bad. Um, if you say slapping a kid is, is bad, but then a black mom does it, and it's like, well, you got to understand the culture. Yeah, that's so, like, oh, man. Like, come on. It, either either you believe that, one, the hitting of the child is bad, but all of a sudden you change the location, and now you can hit the kid. That Well, okay, but ch- changing locations can be attributed to why? Uh, uh, why? But in your head, in your head, uh, you're telling me, that hitting the kid is bad. Right. But if hitting the kid itself, the act if of hitting the kid is bad, it doesn't matter the location. You can't then put a caveat on it to fit your needs. If you're going to tell me, like, say, okay, child abuse is bad. 
that's a different level of ch hitting the child, right? Right, right. That's you so have funny. you have a gauge of where child abuse starts. Let's put it that way. This is the best example I no, got. No, oh, okay, yes, yeah, so, and, and okay. child abuse should start. There's no. a line. There's no, a line no. of yeah. okay, that is child abuse. <clears throat> then you go to the Caribbean, and your level of child abuse is a slap, pow, and a hard slap. And you see a Caribbean dad talking to his kid, and the kid ain't listening, and all of a sudden the dad hauls <clears throat> back, pow. Okay, so so let me ask you this then. Mm -hmm. I'm just putting a twist on it, just something that came to my head. Mm -hmm. I don't know how relevant this is to what we're talking about, but here's my twist. Wouldn't it be considered okay? So I can say if if my kids um disrespect me, mm -hmm. right, then that warrants a smack on the butt or a spanking, whatever, however you decide to spank, whether it's their hands, they butt. I don't believe in the face thing. Let's get that clear. Right. All right. <clears throat> so but what if you just come in a house and, and you did that because the kid disrespected you or threw it out, you know, flipped the table over or some shit like right. that, right? And you give him a whooping and then that's warranted, you know, that's a good reason to do that. But if you just walk in the door and then just start whooping your kids and you whoop them the same as you would as if they flipped over the table, no, no worse, no less, wouldn't that be considered child abuse? By who? By you. If I consider just beating the kid child abuse, or if I consider hitting the kid at all, what's what's my level of child abuse? No, uh, uh, why? I have to have a reason. Well, mine, for mine is why. Yes. Okay. So, so, so you only hit uh, the kid uh, uh, if he does something wrong. Wait, wait, hold on. Why? So let me make it clear. Remember okay. that I said that the same spanking mm -hmm. that you give them for flipping over the table, mm -hmm. which might be just say on a level five, is hardness, and you you whoop them on the butt on a level right. five as far as hardness. Mm -hmm. So you say that's not child abuse because that was warranted because of what he did. Right. Right. But then one day you just walk in the house and you just feel like I'm just going to give him a level five ass woman for no mm -hmm. reason. Isn't that considered child abuse? Um, it should be considered child abuse if you consider the, the parameters that you set in place. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that's so, with the parameters. And that's why I said consistency is key. But if you're not consistent with it, okay, right. so like they say, home. only black people, oh, oh no, no white people can use blackface, okay? That's the rule. You cannot use what blackface. I don't care what the location is. I don't care your why. I don't care the venue. I don't care who's around. Any white person using blackface is wrong. Oh, so I don't believe that. Okay, no, if yeah. I'm saying if that's Some their people, criteria, yeah. <laughs> it's wrong. Yeah. Then you are a white person and you come forward and say, I agree. Shouldn't wear blackface. It's wrong. Then you get caught wearing blackface in a picture. Yeah. And the first thing you do is say, well, at the time, what the see what happened was, I cannot believe you when you tell me that you genuinely believe that wearing blackface is wrong. Because if you, at the time, telling me that white blackface is wrong, you know what the first thing you would do? I need to tell you guys something. I will bring my pictures and my videos to the front. I'm not going to wait until it gets brought up after my statement by somebody else because I didn't want them to know. If not, them, them, them not knowing is me proving that I'm not really a changed person. Yeah, yeah. Especially so if they get brought to the front and all of a sudden you're saying, well, okay, look, look, let me explain why that... See, 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 what back in the day was different, you know, like, it's a joke, you know, like with Howard Stern. You ever use the N-word? I've never used that never. word. I don't ever use I that word. I never said it. He's he's never been with her. Never. So I can't honestly believe that you are for what you say you're for. And right, that's the right. problem. Okay? Hey, look, Ralph Northam, the same thing. When he got caught in pictures wearing black, well, you don't know which one was me? What? what? Were you in the picture at all? Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't but, know which one. I mean, I was next to somebody in blackface, but I didn't mean yeah, but that you, kind of crap. Since you don't know, then it wasn't right. me. So Even that's the problem. Me. That is a problem that I mean I, I want consistency. If I was to give anybody the idea or the uh, advice, if you're going to be consistent about something, I have to see it and exemplify it in your in your day to day. Okay. Yeah. So if you tell me that the harming, and I'll go back to this too, because it all links. If you tell me that the harming of a black life is bad, and then you are okay with rap yeah. songs exemplifying right. the death of black life. I cannot believe that you genuinely believe that the harming of black life is bad. Will you just say the right word and quit playing? So, yeah. Black lives matter. Quit black lives don't matter you to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. They don't matter to you. 
the same way <laughs> that this is, I, and I see a lot of the people are doing it. It's fake outrage about this blackface. Yeah, it's emotionally attached to something. It gets them a little bit of notoriety when you stand up against it, or if you raise an outcry about it. But you don't really do anything about how Stern still has his job. Right, right. You still, you still, you still look at him as some kind of a of the voice of reasoning for some odd reason. Hey, Joy Bear is still on. Justin Trudeau is now the head of Canada. I mean, come on. Like, if you really believe something, stand on it. Stand on it. Yeah. But you're not. And so I can't take people that tell me, ooh, I'm offended. Are you really? Are you are you really offended? Or are you just offended at the person because you don't like the fact that this, this, and this doesn't line up with what? And then if it happens to somebody else, like nobody complained about um, they all laughed at Dave Chappelle dressing up like a KKK member. And it's okay. It's okay. But I thought the KKK was bad. It is. Yeah. But it's funny now. Yeah. He did it. It's okay. A black guy did it. So so the thing is, and, and if you really think about it, the same people that I hear saying that they are offended by it are the same ones that condone what's going on in the black communities. They're the same ones that don't want to admit that black on black crime exists. They're the same mm -hmm. ones that don't want to admit that we are killing each other like 40 going off and nobody's doing nothing about it. Not even us. Um, they're the same ones that will allow um, pedophiles to roam your neighborhood and, mm. and touch on other people's kids and don't see nothing wrong with it. It's the same ones that don't mind and sit there and watch people peddle drugs to kids. So and then they'll say, oh, but it was put there. Yeah. So it's like I can say caveats, they keep putting them. Yeah. Why can't we why can't we deal with the issues that are that are affecting us the most and get rid of that? And then it once you listen, once you become at peace with yourself, man. Listen, man, I gotta I gotta have a whole conversation uh <laughs> with you about this. This is crazy, right? Mm -hmm. So on the way. Uh, back from bringing the kids home school me and my wife was talking and i'm not gonna go into the full situation but it's crazy because man i had to question myself i said man i'm, I'm at peace but has it gotten to the point to where i'm numb <laughs> you know it's peace numb you know what i'm saying and so it's like things just don't man i can't explain it man like 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 sometimes when i say to you i say man i don't care i don't say that in a tough way like i really don't like some stuff I just I can't explain it man it don't it just don't um I don't know man shit shit it's getting crazy you know what I'm saying but but I just don't put a lot of a lot of uh care into a, a whole lot of things that I used to you know what I'm saying and that's that's I believe is because I, I'm I'm just so peaceful you know what I'm saying and and, and and where I'm at but it's crazy uh because there's no capitalism and stop killing each other when you have self-hate talk to you that's all you see what you want me to say about that that okay absolutely Just no no saying, no that's what i was saying i was like she, she right she nailed it <laughs> where is the lie where is the lie and it, it look and if people think oh you're back to bashing black okay fine we're back to bashing black people black bashing black people oh well somebody said that no i said if people end up saying that oh uh -oh. well I think the saying, thing is, we talk about factual things. We talk about the, the truth of things. If you don't like the truth, it tells me that you like the lie. Yeah. And if you like the lie, then we can't communicate properly. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. If you are against something so bad that you riot and fight and burn and destroy things because you hate the loss of life and then don't say nothing about actual loss, then I'm sorry. If you is, have all this anger about white people wearing something and then the people you like wear it and you're like, well, Look, I caught myself almost getting there with the Tom McDonald thing. And you saw that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Tom McDonald. I'm not going to be shy about that. I like the classic music. Okay? The good music. Then he steps good. out. Then he steps out and does something asinine with the kind of violent, uh, contrary to normal stuff that he does. Right? Way over left field. Now I'm caught in a dilemma. Okay? <laughs> this is where the morality comes into it. I'm caught in a moral dilemma. Do I maintain my stance that I like him? Or do I obey the moral stance I have that that what he's doing is contrary to my moral standard and code and it's bad? Yeah. And if I know for if I genuinely am in touch with my moral standard, I have to 
not that I should, not should, not could. I have to admit that it's wrong. Right, right. I have to say, no, that's pretty violent, evil, wicked language. You can't be doing that. I have to get to that point. Otherwise, I fail my moral standings and I'm no longer consistent. Not, yeah. Nothing I say past that point matters at all. Can I still like Tom and hope that maybe I was wrong? That it's, he, I, Of course I can. Absolutely. Because I still have like, why yeah. would you do that, man? You, you're putting me in a hard spot. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> like, really? Same. But at the end of the day, I have to be true to what I believe is truth. Yeah. But if it yeah. wavers back and forth every five days because, oh, uh, oh, but hey, but that's what happens right now. People don't, are not consistent. Al Sharpton is not consistent. BLM is not consistent. The president is not consistent. White people ain't consistent. Black people, nobody consistent anymore. And then when you try to make people understand that there is an absolute wrong and an absolute right and you can't change it. <clears throat> they get mad because they want to be able to change this stuff. They want to be able to, uh, to uh, adapt right and wrong to fit what they want to do. Yeah. Mandy, I want to say this about that because some some uh, I heard this a few times and I meant to comment on it when we said I know we shifted off a little bit, but that's okay. We always do. Um, I don't want to hear. I, I want to hear what Tom has to say about that one, but you're right. Okay, so he is right. And, and I appreciate that. So I'm not contesting what you say. I'm, I'm just saying that you brought me to something that I forgot to say. Um, I would, for entertainment purposes, I would like to hear what he got to say. I would bring him, actually bring him on the mm -hmm. show and talk to him about it for entertainment purposes. But I don't care what he say, why he said that stuff. It's wrong. Period. There's nothing that he can tell me that'll make that right. That I can think of now, if it is, I need to hear it <laughs> because it's just wrong. You know what I'm saying? We can't get into letting people do stuff and say, well, I did it because of this. And, and a lot of things, there's a reason there's a right. It can, it can be right or wrong. Even if now, now y'all watch out. Cause I'm going to make y'all say I'm crazy again. Okay. So get ready. So even if, um, I mean, it, it comes down to why, even if I kill somebody, <clears throat> it depends on why I did it. It depends on why. If somebody coming through this front door right now, and I know they coming to harm me, or even if I think they are coming to harm me or anybody in here, I'm going to do everything in my power to take them out. Take you out. Yep. You're gone. And I'm not going to feel bad about it. Now, if I walk out this house and go find somebody to kill, I'm wronger than four flat tires. And, and when I'm sitting up in prison, wherever they have me at, I am going to feel terrible. So again, to me, to me, it all comes down to why. But why? You did it. But why? You say, oh, yeah, oh, yes, yeah. it comes down to what you said. But why? Yeah, but why? But why did it come down to why? I don't you know, know why. Someone I don't know said, why. I don't know why it, it comes down to why. <laughs> now, this is how I felt about The Rock. Okay. I liked The Rock, as corny as his acting is and as horrible as an actor he is. He had a niche and it fit. And the muscle bound kind of could act, but kind of not. Okay, it fit. And then I came across that video of him on SNL with that robot skit and with the child R word. And then I went to see, okay, maybe he apologized or something that he did. You know, None. No apologies. You want to give him a chance. <laughs> no backtrack. Because I like, hey, look, I like Fast and Furious. And I thought him adding in there was like, man, man, this thing is adrenaline. Brr, no man, man stuff. Then he goes and does this. And again, I have to apply my moral code. I have to. I have no choice at that point. So now I have to decide. It's rock. Yeah. But that's what he said. Yeah. No apologies. No. Yeah, well, he's done. So any rock movie, I don't watch in my house. Right, right, they, right. They right. wanted to watch the new Jumanji. I said, no, we're not watching that. New thing, no, we're not watching any rock movie in our house. We're not not doing it. Sorry. No. Yeah. And so that was that was my moral code having to be implemented over the fact that I might want something fleshly. I might want to watch the rocks movie. I liked Forrest Gump. It was my absolute favorite movie. It was my number one favorite movie next <laughs> to Fiddler on the Roof. It was. Then I heard about Tom Hanks. And I had to really apply my moral compass because I'm like, 
but Forrest Gump has some really good messages in it as a movie. And I, then I said, but all of that seems to be negated by the person that played it. And I had to decide. Never watched it since. So I have to decide from my, and this is the problem with most people today, which is why you see them trying to negate the, the, the God thing. Because as I said before, if you believe in God, what has to happen is he's going to present you with the right way. And more than likely, you're going to find like 90% of the stuff you're doing going against the right way. And the 90% that you're doing, you're probably like, I really like it. And then all of a sudden, you got to stop. And you're like, uh, well, do I have to? Yeah. All right, maybe there's no God. <laughs> maybe there's no God. I mean, would a God really ask you to do that? No, not really. So no, I can't believe in God now. An atheist is just a person who wants to do what they want to do because they want to do it. That's why there's no God. Yeah. Say, so didn't didn't the Rock stand by the Canadian truckers? I don't know, but if he did, no, no, don't so care. What? Yeah, good for him because listen, all that's like telling me Trump. That's like telling me Trump got vaccinated and <laughs> yeah, yeah, and <laughs> and oh, <laughs> as long as he wasn't flapping his hands that's around. around. <laughs> you know, I mean, listen, uh, bad people do good things. You know what I'm saying? You you know you might. I mean, look at it. Oprah, Oprah wants to give away cars. I did. She got a school. She got a school. She done bought houses for people, yeah. you know. And, and so we can't say, well, you know, she. Um, and I'm not saying that what you're saying, by the way. I'm not saying it just trick <laughs> something in my head. I want to make that clear. I'm not. I'm not saying that what you're saying. So but don't yet. don't beat me up. <laughs> if you see me at Walmart, don't put the hands on me. Uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying that that it's like, no, okay, you bought a car, you did this, you did that. That still don't excuse what you did. You're wrong. Period. Point blank. That's it. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it don't, it don't, it really don't, it really don't make a difference about him uh back in the truckers or not. And and we don't know what that man. I mean, you know, he he said what he said. Somebody said in the comment that he said he only eat kids under 10. I mean, man, if if I if I hear him say that when I see him, I might fire. Him. Oh, what is that? Oh, oh. <laughs> what the heck? That's the government, the government's calling court. Hold on. Oh, look. Hey, hold on. I went from tough. I was tough. I was like, I'm like, oh, what's that? I, I didn't mean to. I didn't, <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't. No, hey, you know, I was gonna say, Merlin, they got us. <laughs> or is that looking around? Whoa, whoa, <laughs> Merlin, they got us. <laughs> no, but uh, that was my son calling my uh my my phone. He's I got a grandbaby, y'all. I got a little, I got a little grand boy, grandbaby. Yeah, uh -huh. that's my yeah, rock rock is uh making babies, man. He he doing his job. He doing what he's supposed to do. Married, making babies, and keep on making them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He said he's done. Passing he's on passing that fair line. Pass it down, baby. Let's let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I yeah. was concerned I wouldn't have one, man. I you know, I, and you know. Phew. Oh, you got you one now? We're good. We're good now. Good. We're, we're good, you know. <laughs> That's what's up, man. I guess yeah. when Corey get home, he'll probably give me a couple more right away. Uh we'll see what happens. <laughs> Got to get him married. Any single? Any, oh, I better do that. <laughs> he don't do that to the man. I'm just playing. <laughs> Good God. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> he ain't gonna fight Logan Paul. He gonna fight you. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm gonna knock hey, that man, that, that old man out. Hey, that mother gonna fall in love and be like, I don't want to fight no more. <laughs> I'm cool on the fight. Hey, um, do y'all want to call us? Let's take some calls. Just don't call us any names, all right? Because yeah. I'll fight back. No, if you call, if you call a name, call me a name and see if I get mad. I want y'all yeah. to test me. Yeah. Like, call me, call me a name and see what I say. You got to catch me off guard, though, right? And then let's see if I get mad because I don't get mad. Thank you, thank you, Charity. Thanks, everybody. Uh, let me see. Dang it, what am I doing? I was gonna push the. I was at the game, right? 1-800-491-9687. Somebody give us a call. We want to talk to y'all. 1-800-491-9687. I am going, I promise y'all I'm going to learn how to rap one day. 1-800-491-9687. We want to know how you feel about that black face. Not the black face that's on your face, but the black face that they make with the uh the little funny looking like, look at the dude right there. Uh, who is that? Uh, not Jake. Uh, Logan. Uh, yeah, Logan. Logan. All right, so nobody wants to call. Um, yes, yes, uh, yeah. 
And you know what else you can do to support us? You can also uh, super chat. If you super chat, your comments are guaranteed to get in the section. I should have mentioned that earlier. So always remember, we really appreciate the super chats. It helps us out. It helps support us financially. We all need that too. And we also sell shirts. Um, Lori has been putting the link up. Can you put it up one more again? Miss Lori, the number one moderator in the whole wide world. Uh oh, somebody called and hung up on me. They don't want to talk. 1 800 4 There they go again. What your name is? What your, what your, what your, what your name is? And where you from, huh? Denise, and I'm up here from uh, Tyrannical, <clears throat> New York. You in New York? Yeah. How you like it? Looking okay? in Florida. How you like I it? I don't okay? like it. I don't like it. I don't need. I, I used to like. <laughs> Get the heck out of New York. Make the New York go bankrupt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Georgia. So I need to be I need to get back down there with all my family. Where everybody's cool. We drink sweet tea. Solve problems on the front porch with a cup of sweet tea. That's it. <laughs> all right. Good job. So, what's on your mind? What you think about the big, big black face? Not this black face that you're looking at right here, but the other black face. Oh, 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 I'm in love with those, okay? Both of right. them. Y'all married and I'm old enough to be your mama. You make a mama proud. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, anyway, thank you. Well, this whole black thing has to be squared away. I got, well, we got mixed family. We got Indian, Caucasian, and black <clears throat> in my family. This is it, right? Right. So this whole black thing only becomes a problem when it's the conservative doing it then they got to get canceled but when it's the other side doing it you know it was back then it's okay give them a little grace same with holocaust and everything else you know i'm jew so we got to bring that up and it's like one side gets the grace and gets mercy and the other side gets death and the gulag man and that's just wrong but my question is this when i was little i took one of those big Tide boxes, you know, the big old Tide boxes with the detergent. Uh huh. And I took dirt and I covered my face all black to look like I was. You, dirty. So you, so you done black faced. You done black. Oh man, you done black faced. <laughs> but it was, a, it was a commercial. It was a Tide commercial. Now, did that count as black face? Am I in trouble? Do no, I have you, to make sure there's no pictures? No, you're not in trouble. You're not in trouble. <laughs> you are not. I'm just, I'm just messing with you. I was but anyway, but but what do you, but what do you um, think? You know, what do you think about it though? What do you think about the blackface? Is it is it racist? Is it a good thing? A bad thing? What's your thoughts on it? Um, back in the day, actors did it all the time. I was in a drama club when I was in school. We did blackface. We did that. We acted out. We didn't have enough. Then <clears throat> Walker was my black. And she was my favorite. But we didn't have a lot of black people. So some of us, yeah, put on blackface. It was acting. We weren't doing racist things. We weren't saying. I mean, number one, I agree. I think, you know, anybody that was really racist would want to be so far away from it. They wouldn't even do it. I got I to gotta do this to you, though. You ready? Uh-huh. So what's your answer? <laughs> My answer is I don't think it's racist. Okay. I think they're using it as a tool. <laughs> no, listen, it's, fun. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, it's funny, but I'm for real. I always like whoosh, a direct answer so we got a clear understanding. I don't mean nothing by it. That's just how I am. I like to know. So, yeah, I don't, I don't, I mean... I don't think it's racist necessarily, but I do think that some people do it for racist reasons and it depends on why, but why they do it does not really affect me or my life. So I don't really care too much. So, Well, there, therein lies the thing. Why are they doing it? If you're doing it and you're in a play, you're in a skit, you're doing a movie or something like that. And it's just going on. You're good to go. But yeah. if you're doing it to cause a negative impact, that's right. racist. That's right, wrong. right, right. That's I agree. Wrong. Okay, let's take the yeah. next call. We appreciate you calling, and we appreciate you. We, we you really do. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Robert Downey Jr. What your name is, and where you from, huh? Uh-oh. Hold on. They hung up. <clears throat> what your, what your, what your, what your name is, and where you from, huh? Uh, my name is Mindy, and I am from Ohio. Mindy from Ohio. What's on your mind, That's Mindy? That's right. What's on your mind? Well... Um, on my mind right now, I'm hoping my six-year-old doesn't come in here and start hollering around while I'm on the phone with you all. If she if she come in the room, put her on the phone so we can tell her to be quiet. Oh, <laughs> <I will> be. <laughs> so she, no, I'm just playing. Don't do that. 
<laughs> I would. Don't, don't test me. I will no, do it. don't do it because I I don't want to I don't want to get cussed out in front of everybody. Oh no, you wouldn't. All right. We don't do that here. <clears throat> oh, okay, good, no. good, we don't. good. Yeah, no, good yeah. Christian family here. We All right, that, that good family huh. vibe going. I'm loving it. So but, what? So what are your thoughts? Well, my thoughts are. I don't think it's appropriate, honestly. Um, I've seen it done with, you know, plays, as um, someone else had uh, said earlier. But um, it, it just, for me personally, I just, I don't like to see it. It's just too much. So, so let me ask you, you don't like to see it because why? Is it because you was taught it was wrong? Or, I mean, how did you come, where did you get that from? And I'm not oh, saying you're well, right or wrong. I'm just asking, I'm just trying to figure out where you where you like where you got that from. Well, um, you know, I was taught for years, you know, you know, we accept everybody. We don't we do not um look at anybody differently because of what color they are, what, you know, ethnicity they are, what race they are. Um, I, I can see where it can be comical perhaps, but right. there are other times where it's, um, not. Oh, okay. So, and more, but more or less it, for me, the times that I've seen it, it's, it's not been done in a comical way. Yeah. So for me personally, <clears throat> just from my and seeing it, it, it hasn't been good one, you yeah. know? So yeah. that's, that's where I'm coming from. Okay. But yeah. All right. Yeah, no, I, I asked that because um, I just mm-hmm. noticed that a lot of a lot of people, a lot of people do their beliefs are based off of what they were taught to believe. And that's what they stick mm-hmm. to. And they don't get out. They don't get outside of that. Um, um, oh, and I was never one of those kind of guys. That's why that's why I think of things differently. And that's why people think I'm kind of cuckoo, cool, which I might be. I might be. I got to oh. I got to go talk to a counselor. Oh, I- Dollar Cuckoo, I think you guys are just perfect. And you two are the perfect like combination because you um there's two sides. There's yeah. you, the more comical, lighthearted, and then the other who's a little more, you know, that's hey, hammer. This is what's going on. <laughs> that's, you know, that's and hammer. it's just it's great. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Anytime I try and catch you guys live, and I miss it so many times, I couldn't believe I even got through on the calls. Like, oh my gosh, um, he answered. What am I going to say? I'm yeah. scared. I'm yeah. nervous. Yeah. Um, I think Marlon, I think Marlon wanted to comment on you, and I, I'll be right back. Okay. Right. The, the the thing that you're mentioning and that you said you know it's a it's a moral dilemma you know you said your 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 family is is god fearing and it, it the the problem that you'll encounter is that not everybody holds to that moral code and not everybody holds to that moral standard and like I was saying you have many people who will be against the same thing that they say they're for and then they'll be for the very about for the very same thing that they're against you'll see that that flip flop moral compass that they have you're the only thing I would have to say that you have to maintain is when it happens in your, you know, around you, to you, within your family, you have to stick to what you say you believe, right? So if you believe it's wrong, you have to maintain that throughout. You're not going to be able to affect many other people with that right and wrong because they may not see it that way or they may see it even worse than you. The only thing you can really, really bank on at this point is maintaining your moral standing maintaining that compass line and standing up for it if you if you don't do that then you're no better than they are it, it, that that makes sense so it it's just a it's just a, a a crazy thing all around but you have to maintain that moral code if you don't maintain the moral code i don't see how anyone at all could make sense of it um so i think because Corey left, she probably won't be able to hear me, or I won't be able to hear her if she responded. You're muted. I'm back. <clears throat> okay. He's back. I'm back. Yeah. So did you hear what I said though? I did. I did okay. absolutely okay. hear you. Everyone. Yep. And so that's that's my standpoint on it. So I have I mean, you have to maintain that moral code for yourself. Other people, they're gonna yeah. flip flop and you know, but you you if you have to maintain it, so like say for instance, your kid. You know, gets called to do that. 
um, what's going to be your decision about it? Because remember, it's a moral decision now. I got to the, the, the um, play. The play is going on, and they want to have blackface. And you know, do you allow your kid because your kid really wants to do it? He doesn't see anything racist about it, but you got to now explain to him. Well, it is racist because you know. Now you you know you get what I mean right. when the problem steps in, but not on my watch. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, uh, no, I, this is, I I just wouldn't be able to allow it. I mm -hmm. and that's that's good. That means that you're strong in your your stance. You're consistent. Yeah. Yeah, but if you but if I you try to be. Yeah, but that's good. But I get some haters. A lot of haters. Yeah, you know, people saying, "Oh, haters. you're too much this." You're the uh, haters whatever. will hate. They will hate. And they, and they won't be late. They gonna hate. All right. Well, we appreciate it. Wonderful, wonderful, amazing call. We appreciate you. And please continue to support and make sure you share. And if you can, and if you will, click on the link in the comment section and buy you a shirt. You'll be proud of yourself. And we'll be proud of you, too. Okay. Well, you better remember Mindy from Ohio and it's M Y. NDI. Mindy That's from the high. Okay. I'm when you call me back, when you call back and say this Mindy from Ohio, and I'm gonna say, I right, say I remember that. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you Talk a lot. You. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Uh, <clears throat> I'm consistently a B I B I E I E H <laughs> <laughs> Mama. <laughs> well, well, you know, you know, she probably is probably not lying. Well, we had some good calls, but uh, I think it's time. I think it's time for hammer time. Let's get it. Racism, racism, racism. It's everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. It's like that sale on the TV. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Racism coming straight to you. 5% discount. That's what it feels like today anymore. Now we have to decide for yourself whether or not what you believe is consistent with what you want. Because now you have to step into this realm of I want to laugh and I want to have fun, but there's something that is wrong and that's what's funny. Or you get into this position where this is what they're asking me to do, but I know it's wrong. Or your favorite actor is doing something absolutely asinine and you know it's wrong, but he's my favorite actor. It really comes down to being a moral dilemma. It is a basic and sometimes very deep running moral dilemma. This topic of blackface, knowing the history is good, yes. Knowing the current environment is good, yes. What's even better is having a moral compass about it and being consistent and faithful to it. The flip-flop that people do is absolutely infuriating. It does two things. It dilutes your message and it pulls away from your true calling. People can't believe you. People can't follow. People can't listen. They can't honestly think that you have anything to offer them in case they're lost. You can't. It's like me typing in Google Maps to a location and the location tells me it could be here. But if you want it to be somewhere else, I can make it there too. It's not a very dependable map. It's not a very dependable tool. Your moral compass has to be set on something outside of you, which will make it consistent because if you can't move it, it'll be fixed. As long as it's not anchored to some kind of a moving wind shifting tool of you know, implementation of mankind. You have to set it on something that's immovable because in that you can be assured that the thing you believe will not just change on you and you don't have to worry about it being something that you can't keep up with. At the end of it all, the blackface issue go really comes down to two things. Our ability to maintain our standing in the world and our ability to stand by what we say. And if you can't do either of those two things, you ain't really worth the assault. Stability. And balance, I'm, and I'm muted. Am I muted? No, I'm good. No, you're here. Um, <clears throat> this is um somebody put in the, in the comment section. I was reading while he was talking and listening at the same time. And the question was, what about Martin and the white face? And I'm going to answer that directly. 
I always do. Remember that. So if you call in and I want you to give me a direct answer, just do the same thing I do. It is the same standard, whether you black, white, green, purple, yellow, whatever. It depends on why you did it. It depends on why. Um, and me thinking, I said thinking that I know Martin the way I think I do. Now listen to me. I think he was just being funny. I think he was being funny. And I don't remember the incident that he did it in, but more than likely it was a situation where he was being funny. And um, I don't think he meant no harm. Do I think he should have did it? No. Because in my mind, <clears throat> I may not think something is uh, disrespectful to Merlin. I mean, I might not, I might not think it's disrespectful, but if Merlin think it's disrespectful, then I just shouldn't do it because it's not that important to me because I don't want to offend him or make him think that I'm being disrespectful. So as an actor with, with the, the controversy that can come behind it, I probably would prefer not to do that. I don't, I don't see me doing nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So um, even though I don't think that he should have did it, I don't necessarily think that he was wrong because I don't know his intent. And I would, I would assume, and I could be wrong and I and make an ass out of myself, but I would assume that he was just strictly being funny, but I don't know, Martin. Should we blackface tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. I'm blackface right now. But no, no, but like truly blackface. Like, oh, you talking about the blackface? Yeah. Nah, I ain't gonna blackface because because I, I might be like, dude, I might not be able to get the shit off. <laughs> 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 and then you gotta look at me and say, you ugly. And... You say you was ugly. <laughs> you was a ugly. <clears throat> Yeah, the, the white chick thing, you know, I didn't I didn't really watch it, but I saw them. I saw the pictures and stuff, but um white chicks was funny now. No, I'm just yeah, I don't I don't I don't think them guys that they're not that funny to me. So I don't, you know, so I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Or you but, don't have a funny bone in your body, bro. You ain't even funny. Like shut up, man. I know, man, but I'm just saying. You're Something. just racist for no reason, man. Uh racist me, racist not. Um <laughs> I love everybody. No, racist actually, peas, actually, racist. Actually, actually, do I love white people? Let's do it. He said, "Racist me, racist not. Racist peas, racist pot." <laughs> ask me, do I love? Do ask me, man. Do Jesse Lee? Do me. you love you some white people? I love everybody. Damn it! No, you, you're not. You hello. That's not what I wanted you to say. To say, I wanted to say you hate white people, but you didn't do it. Jesse Lee, me, man. Quit playing. I know. Got, I know. I love everybody. I don't need to look up no blackface in the dictionary. I'm just kidding. I'm not coming out coming at you sideways. So if, you, if you go back to the beginning of the show, I, I mentioned it. So <laughs> it's a step up from coming from the plantation to freedom. It's what's in the card of a person that determines if you are a racist, the hardest, deceitful, above all things. Ah, uh, yes, I love white people. <laughs> no, people when Jesse asks people that they always say, I love everybody. He said, No, I didn't ask you that. I actually love white people. I love everybody. I love all people. No, do you love white people? I love everybody. So do you love black people? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he say, but it's all the the same because we can't really say their intent. Yeah, we can't say their intent. We just, we can only assume. So. And that's uh, okay to assume. Assuming is good. That's the best way yeah, to live and, life. But then some people give you dynamite reasons to believe, okay, that was the intent. I mean, the intent is laid out there. If you just discern it, you got to discern it, you know. And it's not called judging all the time. It's called discerning. If you discern it, if you know it, if you see it, then you see it. That's it. That's not called judging. Um, it's a lot of stuff that people say and do that just kind of don't make sense uh, But to me. But uh, those are whole completely different conversations. And um, and that's it. But listen, we appreciate everybody that came in today and like and share the video before you leave. And also... Uh, start a watch party if you can and subscribe to all the channels and go to the YouTube. Go to YouTube under Too Strong, the number two, Strong. You'll see the logo, uh, Too Strong up there. And please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That is another way to support us. And always remember, too, that you can do the Super Chat. That's another way you can support us. And also, 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 purchase a t-shirt it helps us out a lot and it also helps us promote and get the word out all in one and on top of that you got a nice uh a nice quality shirt because these shirts are quality so not like some of the sales that people do these shirts are the real deal and they really uh hold their color and and, and they hold the, the um the, the graphics on there really good so 
help us out, uh, yeah. support us, and we really appreciate it. And uh, always, 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 never forget this, two strong is always better than one. And we will see you tomorrow at the same time you saw us today. And make sure when that notification bell come on, you click in and come check us out. We've got another amazing show for you tomorrow. Two strong. Okay, Marlon being crazy. <laughs> All right, we really appreciate y'all. He got me over here tweaking. <laughs> <laughs> he thought I froze. You like <laughs> we we appreciate y'all. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace. We out of here. We tackle the topics America just ain't ready for. Too strong.